Hey guys, um, this is a really strong look as usual. Um, I basically wanted to use my sugar pill because I realized I haven't used them in quite a while. So I used um, Goldilux which is a really really nice um, gold pigment and then I used red. Basically it's sort of bridal inspired. I have done something similar like this before already but I wanted to do the same thing with my sugar pills. And um, I also wanted to show you a few photos after this of my other bridal clients you know, so you can have a look of how these colors look great on just about any skin tone because I've always had people asking me like oh I'm darker than you or I'm a lot more fairer than you um, will these colors look good on me basically I personally love colors on any skin tone and it's just about how you blend it how you apply it according to your own eye shape stuff like that so it's a really dramatic look um, you can tone down the lips if you want but I prefer it a bit stronger so yeah hope you guys enjoy it thanks for watching Okay, so um, again, starting off with my two bases, Aqua Cream Eyeshadow by Makeup Forever. And this one just goes under my brows. Painterly Paint Pot, which is a nice matte uh, flesh tone color base. I'm just going to start off with a regular highlight, nothing too strong, just a nice wash of matte colours under my brow bone. Okay. Now um, before I let this gold really um, stand out, I want to use another colour below. So I'm going for the orange, this would be Flame Point from sugar pill right, the orange one here you can use yellow also if you want I prefer the orange I'm just gonna use some regular flat brush and I'm gonna just very lightly apply the inner corners I realize I haven't really used much of orange from sugar pill and I'm really liking the color it's super strong and nice probably use it some other time again in another tutorial okay so just very briefly not too much but it's just going to be the inner corner and I'm picking up love plus right the red color crazy bright red color you can't get this kind of color anywhere else so I'm taking this and just putting this on and blending it into the orange and also bringing it into the crease okay and then I'm going to go back for my highlight brush and I'm just blending out these colors here so I don't get a very harsh line and then for the black I'm actually going to start from the bottom first so what I'm going to do is I'm using my favorite Chanel waterproof eyeliner pencil and I'm going to start from the bottom so I'm going to line my lower lash line here it's basically about almost up till well it's not fully I'm not fully lining it just a little bit up till the end okay okay so once I've got that liner below I'm gonna go for a regular flat brush just some basic flat, flat brush I'm picking up black and I'm just very lightly dabbing it here just to start off my blending now at this point you want to get your blending brush the red color one handy because you're going to be doing a lot of blending so I'm basically blending and applying blending and applying as I go along so I'm going back for more red touching up on the red I like the red to be really strong and nice okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for my crease brush of course if you want something more toned down this would be fine but I like it more elaborate of course so I'm gonna go for my crease brush where is my crease brush oh this one this is the Sigma E45 right it's like a small cake brush 
I'm going to just blend in the black. So I'm taking some black, not too much. And I'm just going to blend it out. And I kind of want to make it a little bit like an angle. Yep. Like that very lightly. And then just blend it all. Okay, I'm going to go with my red again. Picking that up. And I'm basically using the red to really blend all over the black, which means I'm literally going on top of the black because I don't want something that's too harsh like that. So this is going over the black. So the black is going to end up being sort of like a very, very dark red color. It's not going to be black. And that's what I want. What I want to do is I'm going to use the brush that I used to pack on some black. I'm not picking up any more color. And I'm just going to join it from the bottom to the top. Right. And just blend it all out again with the red. And then I'm going back for my highlight brush. And just softening the line here. Okay, um, I've stuck on some fake lashes and I'm waiting for them to dry. And I also just filled in my brows a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to smudge out the line here. I'm going to just use a small flat brush. And I'm picking up some red, the Sugar Pill Love Plus. And I'm just smudging out the lower lash line here. Previously, I lined it with a black pencil, right? So I'm just smudging that out. Um, I'm using the Sugar Pill Goldilocks, which is um, this absolutely stunning gold pigment. Looks like that. So I'm going to actually use it wet so that I get it to really adhere to my eyeshadow. So I'm just using some MAC Fix Plus or you can just even use water. You can just use any mixing medium. I'm just going to spray a little bit on top of my brush. You don't want it to be very wet, just a little bit damp. And I'm just going to pick up some color here so you can see it's nice and foiled and then just applying it here into the inner corners you can see that's really nice and pretty I love this color I think this is one of the best gold I've ever seen super super pretty I'm gonna really blend out that harsh line there so I'm gonna pick up some more red and just really blend out the line. I don't want it to be a very harsh line. I'm going to line my waterline all the way through. And then I'm going to use some gold. Just pick up a little bit more. I'm not wetting the brush anymore. Just a little bit. Whatever's already on the brush. I'm just putting a little bit at the inner corners here. I'm going to um, do my lips. Now what I did was I applied my top lash line, the liner. My eyelashes are still not sticking so well, so I'll put some more glue. I'm going to wait for that to dry. So I'm going to do my lips. Um, I would normally prefer something really strong and red for lips when you're doing um, something like bridal makeup because it's going to look very nice in photos, but I'm not exact. But a lot of people are not comfortable with red lips, so we try to tone it down a little bit. But because this is my YouTube channel and because I like to go really crazy with the looks, I'm going to just do red lips. I'm going for Matte Capricious, which is, it's not red, but it's a nice color.
Then I'm gonna go for my MAC Wonder Woman lip gloss. This is um, well, this is Wonder Woman. <laughs> the color is called Wonder Woman because it's red. So I'm just gonna take it. This is this came in like a really jumbo size, but a lot of complained it was difficult to come off, and it kind of is. my lashes curling my lashes I'm gonna apply some mascara and yeah you're done so this is a really really very strong look um, sort of bridal inspired but at the same time I wanted to use my sugar pill because I haven't done it in a while and I really like this looks a really strong look so um and I personally like the colors red and gold because they go very well on just about any skin tone um, I'll show you a couple of my other bridal shots after this and then you can have a look at how well they go in various skin tones. Thanks for watching guys.